child my face is ashy okay <laughs> hi you guys welcome back okay i just washed my face did my skincare blah 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 i am going to moisturize with my neutrogena hydro boost moisturizer while i do this intro because my face is looking ashy but <laughs> today i wanted to go ahead and test out the color pop no filter stick foundation so that's what i am testing out today you guys and i'm really excited to try it out because i typically don't like stick foundations i don't like them at all they just seem kind of too creamy and i don't know they just seem like they move around too much and stick foundations never do well for me and I don't know if it's because I need such serious foundation coverage for my face because as you can see I have a lot of discoloration and stuff on my face so I'm not a light or even medium coverage type of chick when it comes to foundation but from what I understand this foundation I think it's supposed to be like medium buildable this is what it looks like. It comes in this cute little white tube. I did order mine off the ColourPop website for $10. And my skin is really, really bad right now, you guys. I have been not eating properly, not taking care of my skin like I should. And I always suffer the consequences when I don't. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Let's go ahead and move on. I'm going to be looking at my monitor too, just so I can make sure that I stay in focus since I am filming with the background today. So, okay, I got my moisturizer on. Now this stick foundation, like I said, it looks like this. And let me go ahead and just show you. So you do get a pretty decent amount of foundation in here. Now just looking at this, this looks kind of light to me, so. <laughs> you know who knows it might work it might not but I have the color one what is it dark 175 W that's the color that I have so this is what I'm going to be testing out today now I am going to use my normal usual products on my face I don't want to try anything different or new with this foundation because I'm going to use it just like I would normally use it any other day. Now I'm going to go in with some of my Tatcha primer. I'm still <laughs> working on my little sample here. I'm getting through it though. And I'm just going to, y'all see that? Ugh, hot mess. I'm just going to go ahead and use some of this primer now that I have my face nicely moisturized. Feel like I look crazy after putting this primer on it does create a bit of a blurring effect it's meant to hold oils and moisture and grease at bay on your skin now since this is called the ColourPop no filter stick foundation I'm going to assume that it's supposed to create a nice blurring effect on my face and give me decent coverage so that I don't need a filter. <laughs> so let's go ahead and I haven't decided if I'm using a beauty blender or if I am going to use a brush. Um, it's very thick. <laughs> Just with this initial stroke, it is very thick and creamy. I never know with stick foundations how much to use so like I said I'm not a light coverage type of chick so you guys might be like oh my god you're using too much honey I need a lot of coverage on my face <laughs> what kind of forever <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to, I think I'm going to start out with, mm. I think I'm going to go ahead and try this side with a beauty blender and see how that goes. It 
it's actually blending out quite nicely with the beauty blender I really really like how easy it's blending out so I'm just going to go ahead and use the beauty blender all beauty blender this ain't even a beauty blender I'm going to go ahead and use my Sonia Kashuk sponge all over my face to blend it out so this is basically one coat of the foundation it's not a bad color match actually looking at it it's really not bad I'm gonna go in with a little bit more in some of the areas where I have more of my dark discoloration on my face and hyperpigmentation so first impression I would definitely say it is buildable nice medium to full coverage um, I like the color it has a bit of a yellow undertone to it to me. It kind of seems a bit yellow maybe. Definitely not red, but a bit yellow maybe. But I think it's a pretty decent match for me. Hmm. Okay, so my first impressions of just applying it is it is thick. <laughs> very thick very creamy but it does blend out very easily with a beauty blender um, or sponge like I said I'm using my Sonia Kashuk sponge which I love to death but yeah it blends out nicely with a sponge not too bad at all easy and quick and I was able to build it up with a little more coverage in certain areas of my face so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my ColourPop no filter concealer as well and just kind of stick with the ColourPop theme on my face today Okay, you guys, this foundation and concealer is not playing today. It's definitely giving me coverage. It's definitely brightened up the highlighted areas of my face. Um, it is not matte to me. <laughs> I know under these lights, I do look a little bit shiny. I don't look as shiny in person as I do on camera. Let me just say that because I know that it looks a little bit shinier on camera, but it is not matte to me at all but so far I'm really really liking the coverage now I'm gonna go ahead and do some contouring I'm going to use my black opal contour stick I like how it's looking I do I like it a lot I must say it does I can feel it it does feel a bit heavy but that could just be because you know as you saw I put a lot on because I do need a more full coverage for my face to kind of even things out but I do feel it on my face <laughs> it is not lightweight and airy as it's probably supposed to be I feel it so now I'm gonna go ahead and set the highlighted areas in the rest of my face with some powder the highlighted areas I'm going to set with my collab loose setting powder and I'm going to go in with my Maybelline fit me powder for the rest of my face and lastly I'm going to go in with my black Black Radiance complexion palette just to add a little bit more deepness to the contour and I'm going to go in with this dark shade here and use it as a contour okay you guys so this is how the foundation is looking with my concealer powders contour and all of that good stuff and I have to say it's not bad it's not bad I still don't like stick foundation <laughs> just don't 
but for this foundation i must say i don't hate it i don't hate it at all i think it works for me as you can see with my chest area you know with my undertone i do somewhat have a bit of a orange and yellow undertone so that's why for me with foundations it can get a little bit tricky a little bit confusing because sometimes i look a little bit yellowy and sometimes i look a little bit orangey so it can get a bit tricky but i think with this foundation and the other products that i'm using with it is working out nicely so i must say i do like it i'm not going to do an eye look today for this video i'm just going to go ahead and focus on the foundation i am going to complete my look but i'm going to come back after let's see what time is it it is 11:22 in the morning right now so i'm going to come back later on this evening after i've already finished the rest of my face gone through my day run some errands whatever the case may be and try to make it as late in the evening as possible and give you guys an update on how this foundation wore throughout the day i'm going to try my hardest not to blot if i do blot i will let you know that but i'm going to try my hardest to just kind of let it be how it is i'm pretty sure i'm going to use a setting spray since i am going to complete the rest of my makeup eyes and blush and all that stuff and highlight so i'm pretty sure i am going to use a setting spray but i will come back and let you guys know how it wore throughout the day so i will see you in a bit hi guys okay as you can see i am back it is about six o'clock in the evening I didn't go as long as I wanted to go. I put it on at about 11 this morning. It's about six o'clock. And as you can see, I did the rest of my makeup today. I did some other filming, eyes, blush, highlight, yada, yada. And I didn't blot. So if you look, you know, you can see, you can definitely see that I've gotten a little oily it even looks a little bit you know like the foundation has moved a little bit but all in all like right here under my nose but see the thing with me is that i do touch my face a lot i ate <laughs> i ate so you know when you wipe your mouth and stuff you know what let me get my life together okay i could at least put on some lipstick right you guys these pat mcgrath lipsticks okay bomb i got the little mini set from sephora and i like these a lot okay i put this lipstick on earlier this morning right after i finished my face and i haven't touched it up or anything and as you can see of course it's worn off because i have eaten twice but for me to have eaten and wiped my lips with napkins and stuff and it's still a little bit on there i think that's like i don't know what bomb. color this one is but it is super duper pretty It's like the perfect, just deep, warm, grown and sexy red. I don't know. And it just feels mad comfortable. Anyway, back to the foundation. So as you can see, I am a little bit oily. I didn't blot. I didn't put any extra powder on my face or anything. I did my makeup, did my eyes, filmed, ate, ran errands, did stuff around the house. And this is what we have. So all in all, I mean, it's not the best foundation I've ever used but I would say for a $10 stick foundation for it to look like this after about seven hours of so wear let me just go and ahead and do a little bit of blotting and see what that does so yeah see it just kind of soaked up the oil and it's not necessarily pulling the foundation off of my face you can see now yeah it's not as shiny as it was at all it's definitely just taking the oil the excess oils off of my face it's just yeah you can totally see how i just removed that oil that i hadn't touched all day but yeah definitely i think for a ten dollar stick foundation it's not bad it's not bad at so all those are my overall thoughts on this color pop no filter stick foundation that I tried out today and did a bit of a day wear test today. 
Uh, all in all, I think it's pretty decent. I like it. It's not bad at all. So thank you so much for watching, you guys, and I will see you on my next video. Toodles!